Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, bitch. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my day all gone. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean, all I mean, all I mean, our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101. We'll pop up first in line. But y'all always see us on the street and talk about, man, I love what y'all doing. Keep it up. How can we support the brand? This is how you can support the brand. Become a member of our channel right now. How you do so is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section right here below, there's a link that says join our membership. Click that link, follow the instructions, and you'll become a member where you'll see all the exclusive content that people have been begging for. Thank me later, and thank you for all the love and support. Hey, man, listen, guys, I got a special treat in here for you today, man. You guys going to have to see this to believe it for me. You know, it caught me by a uh, uh, very, very much surprise, you know, um, I was out, and we're going to get all the way into it in a minute, but right now I'm about to in introduce her to y'all. J- Jalisa Clarice, what is it? Javon <laughs> Clarice. Javon Clarice. Javon. Javon Javon Clarice, Clarice is in the building. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, the, the like I said, and you guys understand really why I messed that up a little bit because I have a very complicated situation here. Javon Clarice. But don't, no, let's, let's, let's get into her background first. Okay. Well, I don't know how you're going to do that. <clears throat> We're going to do this. Okay. That's so, going to be I very uh, unique. So you have Javon Clarice. Mm-hmm. At what age did you come out? I literally came out this year. This year, March twenty seventh. It was a near death experience. So, when um, <laughs> Delisa London, when she was born, she as a child, she was not. You were not there for her as a child. No, she sort of like masked everything. I guess you can say. The thing is, she heard me, but she just thought that was her inner thoughts. Okay, so guys, here it is. <laughs> Uh, Delisa or Jalisa? Daylisa. Daylisa Lisa. London, right? Yes. Not her government, but that's a good thing. <laughs> really? Okay. And and Javon Clarice. Clarice. Yes, that is. She me. has two different things going on here, y'all. Just so my people understand. So I, this is for the people like me who really don't know what's going on. We got two people in one right here. If I was able to break it down, personality. She has multi personalities, um, and that's why you know I'm trying. You know, I'm trying to figure this out. I had never dealt with it before, and I met her last night at the store. I was at Kroger's, and. When I met her, she introduced herself and started talking about somebody else. And that's what made me come back into the store after I was headed to my vehicle and say, you know, I need to talk to this young lady. And that's how this happened. Boss Talk 101. Now, let's go all the way in. I want to get into the first uh, a phase of, if yes. she, can you remember the other? Uh, Delisa, you know Delisa? everything that So goes. we do share, um, they call it bleeding memories. Right? Bleeding memories, okay. Um, so you, I share most of her. Straight? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're fine. Because <laughs> you have all three of these oh. cameras on you. Oh. These two are on you. Yes. Oh, so, so, yeah. Hello. <laughs> So you so you sit straight so you can so, <laughs> so you have to turn you should turn yeah. the chair so around. should I stay yes. this way yes. right here yes all right let That's me it. move this ca- move oh this is heavy That's not it. too far because then you have that camera right no, it's it's right. okay right oh okay good. I'm good you got a lot going on yeah I do okay okay so these and are wait your till camera. you to wait till we really dive in <laughs> okay so okay Delisa um, where was she born so she was born in San Jose. San Jose, California. California. Mm -hmm. Um, With her mom and dad in the same household? Not quite. So the mom raised with her mom, dad wasn't there? So, no, uh, the opposite. Oh, (laughs) raised with dad, mom wasn't there? Yes, well, sort of. It was a a, a joint custody situation. So she was back and forth. She saw her when she would see her. Okay, but dad was the main provider? Yes. Okay, siblings? Hmm? Any siblings? Yes. Is she the oldest or youngest? The oldest. The oldest. Mm-hmm. So how many siblings? There is Kennedy, Colin, Colin, 
and then she has on the other side Junior and Lee. So that's five, right? Yes, but she has two step siblings as well. Okay. So seven total. Okay. Yes. So um okay, so being raised by her father, how was that for her being raised by a man compared to not really having her mom there as much? Well, so he was married. Okay, so um, she, she had a stepmom. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe she came into her life like around, to say maybe 10, 11 months old. Okay, she's pretty young. Um, where it starts as a from, like, do you want me to explain what is going on here? Mm-hmm. So um, uh, DID is Dissociative Identity Disorder. Um, it used to be known as Split Personality Disorder. Mm-hmm. And she, it stemmed from child abuse. It was really bad. That's what I thought. That's why I, mm-hmm. when you said you just now arise now this year, that's why I was shocked because normally split personality happens normally as a kid where you had to come out and defend her, so to say. Mm-hmm. But you said as a child trauma, how comes you didn't come out at that time? Um, it's not that simple. Like it, the the whatever altar is in the forefront they have to allow for another person to come in but oh she didn't know that i existed okay. i would be the voice in her head saying like you need to stand up for yourself like what do you got to lose like i'm i'm the one with the tough with the tough skin and i'm quite petty too i'm actually a bitch she is like a really really pure soul she's a really good person she wears her heart on her sleeve where you can see it me i'm not emotional i'm like I'm way more promiscuous. If she knew what I was doing, oh well, she knows. Hmm. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that, but no, like but if she knew what I was fine. doing now, now that I'm in the forefront, mm-hmm. she would, she would. But s- let me say something right <laughs> quick, because I just, you know, when you said if she knew what she was doing, you know, if yes. you watch, I don't know if you watch uh, uh, Nutty Professor mm. Part One and Two when Buddy Love would show up. Mm-hmm. Buddy Love was a the same as. Uh, uh, do, uh, doctor, the, the profe- yeah, yes. So basically, but when he would drink and stuff, he'd lose his weight, and boom, he'd be buddy love, you know. So this is mm. kind of what I think about when she's saying You're related that. to that. Yeah, that's what I'm relating it to: the fact of having two people that are caught up in the same. But situation. the difference is, from what I'm understanding, you said that she has to allow you to come out, but in this instance with buddy love, he forced himself out. Yeah. To come out. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? They had to really fight to figure out who's going to be that dominant person out. Yeah. yeah. Her, her big heart is what really got in the way. And I know that she, at the time, I guess, is better because she could have been very vengeful. I am very vengeful. But and my, she, co- she, my question was, though, um, as trauma, you said she had she went through a child trauma. What did she go through? Well... Go ahead. I hope my siblings forgive me for this. Um, the, her, her stepmother would would beat her. Um, it would be a lot of things that went down behind closed doors. Um, she was very quiet about it because one time she did say something, CPS did show up and whatnot. She put hands on her own. It was like a stepsister at the time. She put hands on her own daughter and she never really got over it Mm. and she felt terrible so she knew that in order to protect her siblings that she had to stay quiet Mm. and so she just let it go on there were times when so there's like a medicine cup on the table and it would have like this green stuff in it um ashley took cma classes as well when they got to the medication part i do i do reckon she asked about a medication for that it would make it was sort of sweet it would make her sort of nauseous and whatnot. Come to find out, it was actually antifreeze. Mm, that and can kill you. Yes. And there was, um, like, you know how you split, like a, like, a pill, and you have, like, you know, when they have the little white balls inside of the pills, that would be inside her cereal as well. So she was trying to kill her? Um, I don't know what that lady was doing, but I'm glad it wasn't me that was there because I would have gotten my leg back. Definitely. So because, how many years did she um, have to endure this? Um, to protect her siblings till she graduated high school and left. 
and that's oh. why the relationship is so strange because like no one wants to hear their parents doing this and that to you unless like you know like they're still their mother but um me personally like she cares about her relationship with the siblings um me i only care about maybe like the three of them to be quite honest there's these other two we recently like that photo you have up there recently went to maui uh for uh one of our brother's weddings and something happened and you know with my daughter and everything like that and she was quite hurt about it i'm People didn't even know I existed. I was just about to say, did they know you have a split personality? That she had a split personality? Uh, it's not really something that, like, it just came out. Like, know, but did you talk to them about I, it? I just felt like it wasn't the right time. Okay. It wasn't the right time because the, uh, the wedding was in April. I came March 27th. That's right. And that's mm. what, you know. The you, parents knew. The parents so, knew. Uh, yeah. Mother knows. Father knows. Um, stepfather knows. Grandfather knows. Um, one what of did they say? Knows. Um, they sort of like thought it was a joke at first but then i guess once they dived deeper into it they believed it yeah but i'm trying to understand like if you just show up like that and and they how could they not know it how would your you brothers how could, how could they not know it how could people around not know that you've changed and, well, Your accent changed. <laughs> exactly. exactly. No, they noticed. They just thought that Ashley was just joking You're around. You're playing around. Or Delisa, sorry. Delisa. Uh, her government name is Ashley. Okay. Yes. They thought that she was playing around. So basically, they was like, oh, she's just messing around. And mm -hmm. they, they Until they realized that it never went away. And I'm, I'm, our personalities are like night and day. She's like sugar and I'm spice. Yeah, but I want to know this. Like, when you, when this happened, you... You you have a lot going on. You have a job. You have friends. They you called have me into the all office about stuff. it. They called you think me about it. You stop talking one way one day and start talking another way they the next all day. Thought it was a joke. Ashley's and like a what did they say? Person. What did they say when you got to work talking like this? They thought it was a joke. What was the first reaction to anybody that you? You're talk? funny. Like what are you doing? Until I got upset. Until it really peeved me. Like I actually cussed a couple of people at work out about it. I got us written like the f second week that I emerged I got us written up like three times Ashley was so livid with me and um because she speaks to you in your head yes yes and there are some times when her emotions like like when she gets really emotional I start to dissociate like it feels like um sort of an out-of-body experience and she's only done that three times but that i understand the reason why she won't come out now ever really why she's not in a good place she it's like so we have a daughter it's a sense of guilt that she has um i am her protector alter you can google what that means but basically i find like any like relationships or any attachments or anything like that um more threatening than anything that's why i'm okay with being like alone and i don't really care how my siblings feel or anything like like i feel like if you disrespect me and my daughter then that's it like the only type of emotion i'm willing to accept right now has to do with our daughter that's it right but for her it means everything to her even though she never really got that same reciprocated uh, as a child. energy no, mm -hmm. in, in, even in now. Adult, okay. But um, because of our daughter, there's a sense of guilt. It's like living for someone else when you've already thrown the towel in. And I'm trying to keep us alive. Did if you, you can see these. Yeah. So I you tried never. to commit, she has She's tried, tried to, to commit suicide. suicide. How many times? Uh, too many to count. I only share her most traumatic memories and her happiest memories. Most of her happiest memories have to do with your daughter with yes let's go back daughter. to when you first emerged that night when that happened what happened explain when you emerged you was you was delisa and then all of a sudden you became <laughs> Javon. so at, at the end of the day i want to know how this transition happened when it happened in detail can you remember because you can remember both sides oh yeah no so it was let's, very let's talk about her. it what happened she fell ill so she was started to get like a cold and whatnot at work and then it was her so two march 27th 
No, no, no. It was like count seven days from March twenty. Okay, cool. Okay, so she it was her um, so it was the last day of work. The day before, she started feeling like some sort of like a cold. Next day, it didn't get any better. Then she had her two days off. But she felt she even has it posted on her TikTok. She that. said she felt like she was dying, and so she had six days, uh, or like six and a half, but six days uh, ice pick headaches six days of a fever she could not eat she could not drink because it was like her throat was on fire nothing could come down and if it did it came back up so she was just sort of bedridden at the time her daughter she didn't go to the doctor the do- she tried she didn't have enough money to go and she they she went to the emergency room right they gave her something for nausea that didn't work so on the fourth day she decided to like maybe shower would make me feel better um and then she did that and then everything was good but then like towards the end of that she took a shower fainted more than likely had a seizure because every time she has fainted in the shower she has had a seizure so she's fainted multiple times i mean just like though she had seizures like twice in her life okay twice in her life um but she fainted in the shower more than likely had a seizure woke up drug herself to the bed and then the next day I emerged. Wow. So she drug herself to the bed after she, you don't even know how long uh, she was in the shower. No, it was, the water was cold. We do know that. And so now you emerge, you get up Here you, I am. and you start to talk. Now you've never had this accent in your life. No, like she can do voices, but like it's her, I guess you can say, She's a um, very animated character. I will say that much. Like, she's more silly. I'm more serious than she is. But when you come and emerge into this, you, you okay, what is the first thing that you think to do? Oh, I, w- I wanted to sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> really? We did you go find one? <laughs> she's like, yeah, I did. Like, I need, yeah, Hold yeah. on. But did she have a boyfriend at the time when <laughs> this happened? Just to make sure. No, she was engaged. Like, she wants to be married and have a family. So she was engaged like when you emerged? No, 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 no. They had gotten out. It was Okay, really just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. But she, she would primarily she wants like a boyfriend eventually like a husband to have like maybe another child or something mm-hmm. like that i don't want any of that i just i'm more so once I'm you physical. emerge i'm not emotional at all you decide you're gonna go out and get your sugar daddy is this new and you she did. so now this is the new you uh the new this is it and i became a stripper you became huh? a stripper how fast after that I are you still a stripper now um, I haven't been back to the club lately, but yes. How long were you doing it for? When I came out, maybe like a month or two after. You so went you straight to the strip club. And you yeah. did, I mean, I still have a job, but like. Right. Yeah, yeah, of course, but you went so to the strip club. that's something you've always wanted to do. That's what she wanted to do. <laughs> right. It was in her. In her. Ashley would never. <laughs> she would, she never done nothing like that. No. So when so you. It's in, in your, like, she's in like her. light feminine energy. I'm not femme fatale. I'm dark feminine right. energy. So, so when you did that, what was she saying to you in your head? I think she's just broken at this point. She wasn't really talking or saying, don't do it. No, she sort of like, imagine her like in a corner, crouched in like that. Wow. That's how Mm -hmm. she is right now. But I am like, I mean well. I'm just trying to fix things, especially financially for her. Which, by the way, I apologize for my outfit. We've been poor for 37 years. (laughs) (laughs) So, do (laughs) do you think that like, if everything does get fixed, Will she come back then? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I had that question in my mind. I honestly, I honestly don't know. I feel like she doesn't, and that's really embarrassing to say, because I know that she would be upset with me, but she doesn't want to be here, like, at all. Oh, That's why she tried to commit suicide multiple times because of that. So it's best she don't come back. Mm-hmm. I feel like she would want to come back to experience certain things with her daughter. Because you said that she's more emotional side, more softer side, so forth. But certain things that um, she's going to experience, like whether graduation, getting married. You know, and even things. I thought of that. Like she should, she right. should want to. Want you know? to. Exactly. But um, 
Every time she's come back, her emotional state was not healthy. All right, let me, let me, let's, I got to go back. I got to go back because you brought the daughter up. I want to know I was, what the daughter, what, what she felt uh, when, you, when you show up as you emerged. Uh, that, what was her thoughts? How did she feel? I seen her on the TikTok, so <laughs> she's getting along just good with it now. But what was it like for her when you first that emerged? Next day. So at first, she like, but not. It didn't take her that long. At first, she thought like, hey, my mom is just being a character, but. Then she started seeing like my mannerisms, how I am towards people, how I am towards emotions and relationships. Like I said, like Ashley's a hugger. I am not. Or Daylisa, I'm sorry, I keep messing up. Daylisa is a hugger. I am not. Um, she definitely can tell because she's soft parents because our daughter's an angel, really. Like she's, yeah, don't really have to do much. She's a really good kid. But um, I, the dates, that I've been going on, the the fact that I have sugar daddies, the fact that I became a stripper. And she's seen and, all of this. Yeah. Did like, she know that she is a stripper? She, that you are a stripper? She knows. There's no secrets. They're like, um, I need her to feel as comfortable as she could be. But she does feel safe with me. We did share a moment. Because, like, she actually, I feel like I'm a bitch. I feel like I don't really have any feelings or emotional, you know, like those sort of things. But she makes me feel human. Mm -hmm. She puts a, the biggest smile on my face. That's what kids do. And I shared that with her. And then the following day, like she she came into my room, gave me a hug and a kiss on my cheek. <laughs> and she was like, she's like, I'm so, you know, I'm just want to tell you that I'm I'm happy you're my mum, my other mum. And I was <laughs> like, really i was like she's like yeah like and everything you do for me like she knows that yes i can be a little bit wild and whatnot but she accepts me because she knows that is coming from a good place and that i've been actively trying to fix ashley's oh, day lisa's situation <laughs> sorry no you Daylisa is a middle name just so clear out <laughs> so there. but let me ask you this um because a lot of us we talk to ourselves in our head all the time you know like mm -hmm. in situations whether somebody say something to us and then when you did not, you know, lash out, when you walk off, you're like, man, I should have done this. I should have done that. I should have said this. And but that does not mean that we have another. How can someone tell if they have a split personality, so to say? Yep. And did you ever go to the doctor to actually get diagnosed of with course. this? So officially, we have not gotten diagnosed. Who actually brought it up was like a nurse, a nurse uh, friend, actually two different nurses. They asked me a bunch of questions and then one of them told me to look into DID because they noticed the mannerisms are com like night and day. And then we also have like a psychiatrist friend that, you know, brought it up. And then we also have a physician, a pri uh, private physician mm -hmm. who can tell the difference too. So she, she basically consulted in those people. The, the problem is we don't know the laws out here in Texas. I don't want her to get taken away. I don't. I don't know how that works. Talking with your daughter. Yes, that's but, what I'm. That's what oh, I'm afraid of. And which makes sense. Which makes sense. Right. And financially, we're not in a place where we can get that treatment right now. But actively, like I said, I'm working on it, and we're like but one would, step closer. Forward. But I would think that because you are not um, harmful, because you're not a threat to anyone it's so not, to well, say you, you know that they don't care about yeah they don't the care about that let me tell you something they don't care about i something. came home last night somebody just, actually told me because i was working to try and get diagnosed officially um but they, they were just chill. like hey you might want to be careful because abc and you know texas and stuff i'm like damn all right maybe it makes sense let me tell you something when i met you last night i came to the house excited to tell my wife about <laughs> this person i met that I don't know, she's wow, like she's got two things going on. I was on it. But then I went in my office here and I said, let me look this person up to see if they really tripping here. So I started going through dissecting the TikTok, didn't I? Dissecting mm -hmm. the Instagram to see if I could investigate what the heck was going on. In my heart, I'm like, what am I dealing with here? You know, is this really and I said, she said the 16th or the 17th, but then when I called you, you said the 27th, and I looked, I said, that's about when it happened, you know? Just because it does it does take people by surprise. 
No, it's not something normal. I just told you I talk to everybody. So I speak to exists. every person. I know it exists, but I'm telling you, speaking to everybody, I've been doing this for many, many years. You understand what I'm saying? I've never ran into nobody that was had went through this. What do you call it again? I want you to no, say it. I want to hear the diagnosis. What is it called? Uh, DID, DID, also known as Dissociative Identity Disorder. Wow. And that was brought to my attention. You had, yeah, somebody to tell you. Yeah. Have you met anybody else who has the same issue? No, but I have met like doctors that work with people. Like some people have like 17 different personalities. Right. I, I seen a guy that. on your mm -hmm. TikTok that said something to you and one of them and you was like, mm -hmm. thank you for recognizing. Because he asked you, was that what you had? He knew. Yeah. I even got a, a birth chart because I'm not like her. So... Technically, I have to go by the day I emerged. So I'm like an Aries, and then my moon is a is a Scorpio, and then my rising is a Cancer, which makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. She is an Aquarius, and then her moon is an Aries, and then her rising is like a Libra, which is why she's like such a romantic. Me, I just... <laughs> That's crazy because if oh, I was married God. to this girl, <laughs> she said, yeah. no. some people married probably go through this like somebody just switch up on them like that. Yeah. Because they've been through so much or, or and this becomes a, a situation. I Luckily, you point, wasn't. She just gave up, really. She just gave up. Like, she, I can tell you, she's a really strong person, but at this point, right now in our lives, she's she doesn't want, she wants out. But did, so she always knew that autism. you were in her. No, she thought I was an inner thought. But I, I, there would be moments when I know I would be coming out and she would start to shake. <laughs> like when she would get upset. I'm more her, like her rage. And, and she put you back in. She, she had very much, very much control of the situation entirely. Her heart is so big, but she, she just wants out. And how I had to, I had to do research, like, why am I like this? Or why don't I care about that? Or why am I emotionless? Like maybe, like maybe it's something else, but no, it's not. They identify it as a protector altar. And apparently I'm what she needs right now. Right. Because I protect her from harm, like from any new or past traumas um, that can hurt her even if that means herself. But in some way, because you are very an extrovert, whereas like... Oh, I'm not. No, when I say extrovert, mean like you're going out here to be a stripper. Mean like you're not shy, you're that. not, you know, you're when going out here. That has nothing to do <laughs> with it. You know what I mean? I like to be by myself, yes. But that's so crazy that a person would like to be by themselves because when you're out here being a stripper, you're having people coming up to you and, you know, all of that, I so like, you, that would not be someone. Money. I like money. <laughs> so when you when you um, think about it, you just wanted to uh, you you you're something else because, like I said, for me it's it's different. I see your daughter, and I'm just thinking about how she's adjusted. Did you had a different taste in men? You had a different. Some of your friends that knew you as mm. Delisa. This they were coming back to meet that person who she might have been manipulated by before. They could have been certain things that you would say that she wouldn't say. So these different relationships takes on a different, you know what I mean? A different that. So did you lose a lot of friends according to the people that she knew? Mm. Or did they just readjust and, 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 and dealt with this? I feel like she has friends that will accept her for who she is, but I I don't really I don't care. Really you don't really care. So you don't communicate with her the friends that I she has? have when she really really wants to keep that relationship. Yes, I have. Like that we have a friend in Atlanta. I told her about it. Um especially if friends like reach out and they're like hey i miss you and whatnot and or if she wants me to give them a call and whatnot but she doesn't want to talk like she's she don't want to talk to them she wants you to do it for her and so i have to like hey so guess what blah 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 and tell them what happened and, and what they, they say if they accept um most of them have been well the ones that we reached out to literally only reached out to like mother father stepfather told two brothers our sister, let's see, one friend, that friend in Atlanta, 
Another friend in Miami. Who else? Did I say grandfather? No. no. Grandfather. Have you called him back again? The, the, oh, the after friend, that? The two friends. Oh, yeah, of course. So y'all started. Yeah, back, y'all some start. of them have to, like, one of them was, in the one in Atlanta, they were they were like, oh, wow, okay, because, you know, she's very, very smart. Um, the other one in Miami was like, all right, and she just had to process it. Um, you know, and I, uh, our father actually accepted it a lot quicker because he knows, like, about the abuse. Mm-hmm. Like, he's very much aware that that can happen. Um, because of what happened in the household when he wasn't there. Right. But um, other than that, I, I don't really I don't really care. Like, my priorities are to make sure that our daughter is straight and that we're straight and that Ashley doesn't come out and do something. So maybe she'll come out. I got a question. Now. I, what about the... The father. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. Oh, yeah. The father, how did he, he react to um, the situation when you first told him about it? He's all it. right. He knows about Ashley's past, too. About Daylisa's past. Really? Okay. But nobody, even although you know about somebody's past, nobody expects a split personality to emerge. It, so it, just hearing that. There's no that, other way to go around it. Like, I, I, can't, I can't lie about it. Like, it, it's just... I know, it's but just, just to just to <laughs> their reactions because I, we've met so many people who sit in the same seat that you sat in and told us so much about their traumas as a young child, the things that they've been through with abuse, sexual abuse, rape. I mean, so oh, she's many been things. That too. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. And none of them has ever said anything like what you've said. So that's why I'm like, when you're telling a father, step the father of your child, well, now I'm not her anymore i'm now this person let me introduce myself this is how i am (laughs) i mean i I guess because i'm not as emotional like i i'm just like take it or leave it that's just where i'm at but see here's the deal i i'm used to this now that i think of it i'm getting more and more (laughs) comfortable with this because i had my god rest his soul willie willie melvin shout out r.i.p he was uh my stepfather and he would he would be quiet for weeks and months but then when he started drinking he'll he'll emerge you know? <laughs> but it's a little less extensive as yours but mm-hmm. he would now talk and and hang out and, and you have people that do this right that's just a drunk no that ain't no drunk <laughs> that's just a drunk that's not a drunk so he comes out and he's real all going and then after the the, the, the alcohol wear off then he goes back, you know what I mean? That's and he totally don't talk different. no more to nobody else. And that's kind of the same thing. So it's, it, you don't it, know. No. <laughs> no. No. no, the reason why I say that because... One is a mental illness. <laughs> one is a mental illness. <laughs> right. It was a drop, right? <laughs> that's what they call liquid courage. People want to be this way, but they're too worried about what other people might think. Thanks. So... They drink to bring out their real personality of how they really want to be. Oh, okay. Mm, you nice. understand what I mean? And then once they stop, they don't have that courage no more. Once <laughs> the liquor goes away. Well, oh, yeah. it's Speaking your liquor person. Too, she likes. Well, we can't. We can't do it anymore. She hasn't done it in a while. But she likes to smoke weed. I hate the smell. I'm like, I, you don't like weed at all. What are what else so are the So did the weed man call you when when you when it, you know what I'm saying? No, no, she no, she can't she can't smoke weed because of our job, but like she enjoys smoking marijuana like when she was able to smoke marijuana. Okay. What other differences? I don't like. I don't like coffee. She loves coffee. I don't really like drinking stuff with caffeine and like with the exception of uh, matcha green tea because I know why she drunk with that because of the benefits that it gives like your body and mm-hmm. whatnot. But I, it tastes like dirt to me. I but she like, like it. it. She loves the taste of stuff like that. What did your daughter say she when all the stuff changed? Slim. She feels she's very self conscious about her, her body. body. She she feels like she, we look better when we're slim. I like being thick. Like I know there's rolls hanging out somewhere over you here. You don't but care. I, no, I love, <laughs> I, I love it. Like I enjoy. And uh, you like to dance and she doesn't? She's more timid. Like, for example, um, she did it for like three months at a cabaret, but that's what she can get because she's so shy, dainty. Yes. I'm at a regular strip club. <laughs> so Yeah. And she sings and you can't. No, I can sing. We both can sing. Okay, okay. But she wants to be a singer. I okay. have no desire to do that at all. At all. What do you want to be? Rich. 
That's it. Wealthy. She said that twice. <laughs> I know. I'm like, hey, that's it. Successful. I agree with you. <laughs> Successful in what? I Whatever. don't know. Like she really, so she really did have a plan for herself as far as like goals. I will say, she wanted to be a singer. Um, she wanted to uh, do like some sort of skincare or like create her like own beauty line or something because uh, she knows how to make this stuff for her skin. Um, that's why she, we look so young. But um, I don't enjoy either one of those things. Like if I get famous by accident for like singing online, like hey, cool, you know. Give, show me the money you know mm -hmm. other than that like i just want to be successful like right now i'm looking for another full-time job that pays more and whatnot and my focus really like her goals was to get herself and her daughter like where they needed to be and then i had to sit with myself and think like what what are my goals like what are my passions and i see how talented our daughter is she is a very gifted graphic designer. She freehands mm. like how old is she? Beautiful. She's 16. only sixteen. Wow, sixteen. And like, I'm like I said, I'm not. I don't have emotions like that. Mm -hmm. So when I thought about it, I was like, my passion is her. So so really, I just want to get. I want to make her small money, get her a job. And then put her through through college to a university so that she my my passion is her my goals are her to make sure that she does not have to struggle when she gets older can and you she, go ahead can you sing a song for <laughs> oh. one of the songs that you sing that she uh, likes to sing oh that she you likes don't. to sing no sing because you, you, yeah, if you do me i'm yeah, going you, to rap. okay uh, she like for example she she can't stand sexy red i love her <laughs> Like I, I love listening to ratchet rapping and everything. I just sound really corny when I try to do okay, it. Okay, do something, whatever you want to do. Um, here's a story of a lovely lady oh, oh, who was bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold. Like their mother, the youngest one in girls. Man, like I like That's that. That's a beautiful voice. No, she can sing. This one can sing. Mm -hmm. Barely. Barely. No, she can. She can blow me. I just like to sing in the shower in the car. Yeah. I don't warm up enough for us to like to really keep it. So, up. how has your okay? So, your full time job from the first time when you got rolled up three times. Because you've been here since March. She only been um, here since March. Okay. How have they adjusted and is everything okay, okay now? now? Um, I feel like people enjoy me. Um, I don't really think about it because I don't, like I said, I don't, don't care. care. <laughs> and which is a good place to be, actually. When you're in this situation, you can't care. Because if you, you start caring, care. it would be bad. She, but with, no, a, job, but a, with a job, you have to care some more. Because if you don't care that much, that means that um, they might tell you bye any day. No, they. I don't think that they can fire me, to be quite honest. Because like it's a mental disability. Or, illness but, or whatever but if you have not gone to a doctor to get anything written for them to put it on file then oh, like, listen no i'm taking care of that now i'm actually like the appointment i told i'm not going to get into what appointment i had right earlier, but right. I, I told you guys earlier i had an appointment that yeah. was and you guys follow that appointment it has a lot to do like i'm fixing things so that yeah. we can get the proper care that we need exactly because wow. they would need to have something on file to say so that they can't Yes. You see what I mean? Yes. No. Definitely. Well, I just want to tell you on Boss Talk 101, we accept you exactly the way you are. If if uh, Delisa come back, I ask you whoever, I'm right here with you. <laughs> if you decide to stay here forever as you are today, we are right here with you. I don't think that's up to me. Really. It doesn't matter to me Do is you what want I'm trying to, to tell you. Do you she don't care. She don't care about nothing. Care. Yvonne Clarison, that's the one she, Clarice, her, she don't I, care I about nothing. To be so your right. main focus is her. You just want her to be okay and your daughter to be okay. Yeah, yeah. which is a good thing. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm not heartless completely. I'm kind of cool. <laughs> I'm cool yeah. with you, Yvonne, but I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, I, I was checking out your, uh, your older you and uh, 
all that's clicking and ticking. So it don't matter. Whoever you want to be, just come up here to Boss Talk 101, and we're going to rock out with you, okay? Oh, I didn't even show you the photos. Like, I, there's an old photo of her and then one that I had to retake for my job. Really? <laughs> you want to see? Well, not even just that. I feel like I smile different than she does. Mm. She sort of like. I don't think she likes her smile. But you love your smile. I love everything about me. I don't. Because you're the more confident you. Yeah. Wow. Is there I, I any just, I wish that, like, she could see that everything that I was able to get done and do that um, she's capable of doing as well. But I cannot, I'm not going to subside her abuse because I feel like had I been the one to have to endure that, I would probably feel the same way that she does. You said that she also had to endure rape? Yes. When did that happen? How old was she? So, uh, 14 years old, there was like a guy who, uh, did, he was a barber and a hairdresser. So at 14, um, parents left her at, uh, to get her hair done. She went to try on one of the clothes because it was attached to like a, a clothing store and there mm -hmm. was a barber and a hair shop in the back. Um, this was in Modesto, California. So she went to try on a dress and whatnot, and then she came out so she can take a look at it in the mirror, and he was like twice her age, kissed her like a grown woman. She didn't really know how to like process that. And then there was another time when she was 18, she, uh, sorry, Ashley, she um, got her hair done. Um, well, she was going to get her hair done for senior photos, and he ran out of hair product and so he took her with her and parked somewhere towards the back in the parking lot and can I say can I say mm. uh, anally raped her there mm. and did she um, tell her stepfather I mean her father or anybody no didn't let anybody know no mm. She didn't say anything until after she left the house. But she felt like no one would believe her anyway because when she tried to say something about the whole chart, like everything else the before. Step one, like, it was like, stop making up stories. Well, at least from her. Mm -hmm. You know? Wow. But, um, well. Mm. Man, thank you for sharing with us, man. I just want to tell you, thank you for coming on the show. How can people get a hold to you if they're trying to reach out? Um, you can call myself. <laughs> I may or may not answer. No. I'm just kidding. No, um, hold on. I have to because I made a lot of changes. So, Daylisa London uh, is the at for Instagram. And for TikTok, which is what we're mostly on, is Don Lun Young. Am I allowed to put. Yeah, <laughs> you can spell it D O N L O N Y U N G. Don Lun Young. Wow. Because some people might reach out to you and be like, I'm experiencing the same thing. I yeah. go through this. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's know. not fun to disassociate either. It feels like you can't even function, to be quite honest. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. I just want to tell you, we love you. Boss Talk 101, we appreciate you. I enjoyed you guys. Thank man, you. Man, and we want to bring you back as well. We're going we're gonna to do it all <laughs> over again. We're going to continue to talk. Thank you so much, man. Um, Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.